Question 10, we have 1x squared, so x squared minus 10x plus 25 is a perfect square, or a double root, x minus 5 to be squared is equal to 0, so we have alpha is 5, and beta is 5, just write down because the un is different, it's going to be L times alpha to the power of n, plus mn alpha to the power of n. For u0, instead of having L plus m, we have L plus mn is equal to u0, which is 2, and we're putting 0 in. So L is equal to 2. For u1, we have alpha times L plus beta technically times 1 times m is equal to u1, which is 25. So 10 plus 5m is equal to 25, so 5m is equal to 15, m is equal to 3, so un becomes L, which is 2 times alpha, which is 5, and then we have plus m, 3 times n times beta, Wait, second time I've done that, well it's alpha twice I suppose maybe, Technically, it's beta, just keep it consistent. So this looks like 5 to the power of n times 2 plus 3n is our solution.